The Isabella State University Climate Change Center was institutionalized by virtue of approved University Board of Graduates Resolution No. 11, Series of 2010, which was initially funded by the Commission of Higher Education and the University under an equal cost sharing of $1 million. It aimed to spell ISU's contribution towards generating climate change adaptation, mitigation, and climate-induced disaster risk reduction strategies, and to provide a mechanism to integrate climate change education, research and development, extension trust to develop climate resilient communities in the region. A climate change center building was constructed at ISU Chage with a budget of 11 million provided by CHET and 5.4 million provided by the varsity for its major equipment such as the 20 kilowatt grid tied roof mounted photovoltaic system solar powered water system automatic weather monitoring system and sets of dramatic equipment such as echo sounder gnss and gps it housed two special projects such as the field either one and two addressing relevant concerns on climate change impacts vulnerabilities and adaptation focusing on flood hazard modeling and simulation and detailed resources mapping and selected river basins. The Climate Change Center's vision is a center of excellence in climate change adaptation, mitigation, and climate-induced disaster risk resiliency in Cagayanga, the country, and the ASEAN region. As its mission, it is committed to exist as a self-sustaining, holistic, functional service and capacity-building facility on climate change R&D that serves as mentor to cascade best practices in climate change adaptation and mitigation, providing climate change adaptation, mitigation, disaster risk reduction, education, and expert services to various clients, and utilizing science-based information and addressing climate change, all geared towards climate risk resiliency. Foremost of its goals, is invigorating the utilization of innovative science and technology products and services for climate change adaptation, which is enhancing resilience or reducing vulnerability, and mitigation that is reducing greenhouse gases with the following objectives to enhance vulnerability and adaptation assessment methods such as impact chain analysis and climate impacts and risk analysis matrix or CLIRAN, and to develop assessment and valuation tools for greenhouse gas mitigation of technologies. The second goal is building the capacity of communities, LGUs, and other stakeholders on climate change adaptation and mitigation and climate-induced disaster risk resiliency with the following objectives. Provide training such as hazard mapping and early warning systems. To provide technical assistance such as LCCAF formulation, and project development for PSF funding and to disseminate economically viable low carbon technologies that generate income such as the use of renewable energy systems like solar, biomass, wind and hydro. The third goal is curriculum development on CCAM DRR with the following objectives to infuse and enrich existing subjects to develop instructional materials such as syllabi, lecture, and laboratory manuals, to develop SICAM DRR degree program, and to advise thesis and dissertation students. The following are the highlights of accomplishments of the center. Turned over the flood hazard maps generated from the LiDAR technology to LGUs, covered by the river basins assigned to ISU. Hands-on trainings on GIS for LiDAR data products utilization were conducted. This led to the development of LiDAR-based flood advisory system in northeastern Luzon river basins. This research is expected to reduce harmful effects of floods by providing LGUs with timely flood map simulations as early warning for the flood vulnerable communities so they can prepare to evacuate to safer areas and utilize static flood hazard maps at various rainfall scenarios for long-term land use planning. Installed a 20 kilowatt grid tied roof mounted photovoltaic system, water system, and solar streetlights of the Climate Change Center building. 
This is an example of a technology that reduces greenhouse gas. For a rated power of 18.4 kilowatts, it is equivalent to 40 trees planted with a carbon offset of 14.8 tons. A tender training organized by DILG and Climate Change Commission, a local climate change action plan or LCCAP formulation for LGUs, Philippine Survival Fund or PSF, and Greenhouse Gases Accounting. Attended a seminar on the updates of climate change science, Philippine climate trends and projections, and roles of LGUs and SUCs in adaptation and mitigation by Dr. Lourdes Tibig, a technical panel member of the IPCC. With the learnings from the seminar, the center initiated the conduct of eco-seminar on climate change, syllabus enrichment, and research opportunities. Advising thesis students, the center conducted GIS seminars and tutorials for BSA students in which GIS functionalities and applications such as multi-criteria crop suitability analysis and flood vulnerability mapping are utilized in their chosen thesis problems. Considering the strengths of the center, Having acquired dramatic skills, hardware, and software from previously completed DOST funded researches and the funding support of the university, as well as many opportunities such as the service engagement of public scientists with expertise in GIS remote sensing, the Science for Change program or S4CP of the DOST, and emerging dramatics technologies such as drone aerial imaging and mapping and web GIS functionalities. The center formulated its roadmap for 2020 to 2025 to package a proposal for a niche center in the region or an ICER on climate smart and precision agriculture and fishing. As an ICER, it would become an open opportunity and integrating framework for shared expertise and resources among ISU, LGUs, and industries to pursue modernization to maximize profit by protecting the environment and become climate resilient.